Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, welcome to Life with Annie. This, uh, what time is it? 10.34. This late morning, I kind of slept in a little bit today, and um, I wanted to come on. I've made this before. This is the Dutch Baby Pancake. We love them. And when I picked those uh, blueberries yesterday, I thought, well, I'll make one today, and we'll just use these beautiful blueberries that I got out of Matt's berry garden. So I was really excited about those. So anyway, I, like I said, I've done this before, but I have a lot of new followers, so I thought I would do it again. Besides, it's just yummy. So, um, Matt, if you want to hand me the um, paper there, with the recipe. So, this is called the Vanilla Dutch Baby Pancake, and it's just a puffed pancake. So, we're going to get started on that. Now, um, I have to have three-fourths of a cup of milk in the microwave. The recipe did say to heat it for about 20 to 30 seconds. So, I did that. And I'm going to get a lot of people a coming in saying good morning to you. Kathy, Sharon, Debbie, morning, Joy, everybody. Christy. Happy Saturday. And then we're going to put in three eggs. And Sharon says you look gorgeous. I, I, I try to tell her the same thing. She doesn't listen to me. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, I think Matt needs thicker glasses, though. All right. All right, so I'm going to add in the three eggs. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. All right, we got Irene saying hi. Joe Hill says hi. Debbie. Hey, everybody. Lou. Happy Rosanna. Saturday. Rosanna okay. from Oklahoma. My hands off a second. I'm going to back out and then we see the eggs in there and let you go ahead okay. and do your mixing. And I'm just going to kind of mix these together. Now, this milk isn't hot enough to scramble these eggs. It was only about 20 seconds. We'll just to knock the chill off. And we'll come back in once you get it. List up. So if you didn't watch yesterday when I got back from uh, spending uh, the first part of the day with Mama, I came home and I thought, I knew we had some blueberries that needed to be picked and I thought, it's fixing to rain, I'll go out there and pick them really quick. It didn't rain, but then last night it did rain, so... I don't know how much it rained last night. Matt didn't even know it rained. I heard one big clap of thunder, and, uh, and then I went off to sleep. Some more people saying good morning to us. Laura, Amy, Mary. Good morning, and everybody. Joy said you look great today. Thank you. All right. So we've got our um, egg and butter, I mean, egg and milk mixture there. And then I did go ahead and melt three tablespoons of butter in the pan that I'm going to cook this in. So I popped this in the oven just for a couple minutes, melted the butter, and so that's waiting for us. And then it says to do this in a blender. I've never done it in a blender. I just do it by hand. So we're going to combine, combine the flour and sugar and vanilla and a pinch of salt. Um, Good morning from Veronica in Ireland. Thank you, Joyce. Joyce okay. just sent you 50 stars. Thank you, Joyce. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Jan from Ohio says hello. Hey, Jan. I'm going to sift this in just to kind of help with... It, it, it does tend to have some lumps in it when I make it. It's okay with me. I don't get mad about that. It's okay with me, baby. I don't okay. get mad about it either. It's okay with Matt. So, but I am going to sift it just a little bit, just to be a little fancy, because I have a little extra time today. So, what's everybody doing today? Are y'all cooking, grilling, have, getting together with family, going to the lake? Anything special? Cutting grass. That's what Matt's special yeah. is. Yeah, Matt left early this morning and got gas for the lawnmower. But the grass is too wet to cut right now, yep. so I'm waiting. Yep, yep, yep. Happy 4th of July, Rita. Okay, so I'm going to do this. 
So I'm going to go ahead and kind of mix this together. I don't know if you want to get a little... Kathy loves stuff. your videos. Thank you, Kathy. That says you're supposed to... You're supposed to pour the excess of butter in there, too. Are we? Yeah, so I believe that's what it said when I, when I was reading it. Um, I haven't made it in a while. Yeah, pour the batter into the pan, hot pan and return the pan. Yes, yeah, so it melt, uh, swirl it around, and then after you swirl it, then pour the remaining butter into the batter mixture. Okay. Well, let me do that then. Let me get this flour mixed in then. And mix it Mats vigorously. That's my sous chef. Hi, from the Netherlands. Hey, from the Netherlands. It's Ria, Raya, R I A. Ria, sounds like. Brenda Thank says you. it looks good. So, Matt already came in and helped me out a little bit. He put some bacon in the oven. So, it's kind of in there cooking. So, we're just going to have this Dutch baby and a little bit of bacon. And then we're going to decide what we're going to do today. Happy 4th of July from Texas, from Linda. I did some other stuff this morning, too, but she didn't tell you about all that. About washing dishes, because she didn't know. I didn't know you washed some dishes, but thank you. <laughs> well, why are they all still in there? The ones that I saw last night. I've just washed, like, your coffee cup and stuff oh, like that that you thank had. Thank you. Hi, from... From New York, from Lizette. We're making a Dutch baby... The Dutch baby pancake. Irish from Ireland says hello. Lizette gave us a whole bunch of emojis. Okay, so let me see if this panel is. It's and Cheryl's cool. saying hello from Iowa with two ears of corn. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of corn in my garden. All right, I'm going to pour the butter in. Hopefully nothing gets to it. Yeah, I know. Hopefully, because Matt's wanting some of Mima's corn. I might have overcooked my butter a little bit, so we're going to have brown butter Dutch baby pancake. It don't matter. We'll still eat it. we got Liz saying hi from Manchester, UK, with a okay. bunch of X's and a heart. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope y'all will come back over and over again. All right, so then I'm going to add in the rest of the ingredients, which is um, sugar and a pinch of salt, and it's like a tablespoon and a teaspoon is what I'm putting in here. Good morning from and Maine a by Kelly. Kelly said good morning. She's putting a pinch of salt in. Kelly said good morning. Lizette asked us if we ever had Mexican corn, and the answer to that question is yes. We make a good Mexican corn dip when football season starts, y'all, and I start doing. Matt's football um, snacks, I'll do the Mexican corn dip. We made that one night, and we just stood in the kitchen and ate the whole pan. <laughs> we never even left the kitchen. So we'll probably double it. Shirley from Panama City says hello. Hey, Shirley. Okay. Laura says she's going to church tomorrow for the 4th. All right. And, and she think thinks your pancakes are going to be awesome. Hey, Linda, haven't seen you around in a while. Linda Motley says, Hey, Linda. Hey. Linda has been with me since the beginning. Glad to have her here. Was that 2000 and what, 16? 16. We've been doing this for that long? Yeah. For the longest time, we had like four followers. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's two teaspoons of vanilla. Phyllis says hello from Montgomery, Alabama. This is Alabama. A half of a teaspoon, so I got to do this four times, y'all. Linda Phyllis from Montgomery, Alabama says hello. Hey, Phyllis. Barbara Smith says good morning. And Are y'all getting rain down there in Alabama yet? She's from Ridge, Ridgeland, Mississippi. I know that. Is it Elsa? Charlotte. It's headed the says, way. Charlotte says hap, uh, good morning from Athens, Tennessee. Yeah, the frozen princess is going to come and she ain't going to freeze. She's going to rain it all out, I guess. Yeah. Jenny well, from hopefully everybody or Gianna, Jenny from Alabama says good morning. Now I can't pronounce names, so don't don't get hate on me if I yeah. if I mispronounce your name. I'll do my best. I'm just a good old country boy from West Virginia, so. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, I guess, the last ingredient, Matt, is the. Me eating it? Oh no. No, your berries. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, the blueberries. blueberries. The beautiful blueberries that I picked. Now, on the recipe, I'm going to go ahead and say this because she didn't say it. So, the recipe, actually, you, you put them on the top and you, you yeah, well, sugar them. Well, you can them. make like a, a little berry compote, I guess. And you, you put them on the top or you make a little the pitcher, the stove. Well, yeah, you make like a yeah. little syrup like out yeah, of it. Yeah, you can thing. put them in a pan and put a little bit of sugar and maybe some lemon zest, I think it says. Now, I know some people said hello, but they, they pop through fashion like I could get their name. So if I missed your name, I'm sorry. But I do have a Carol says hello from Seattle. and Carol? And it's Tiano, still a little early over there. Tiano from Peru, Indiana. Thank is you, Tiano. She sent you 35 stars. T-I-N-E-O. T-I-N-A-O. Tineo. Tineo. Okay, and tell me if I'm mispronouncing. Is it Tineo, Tineo or Tineo? Because I've seen her on there before, and I know I've probably messed her name up. Hope says right. hello from Crystal River, Florida. All right, so there is our mixture mat. Um Right there. Can oh, they see it? He's, no. he's looking at it, not not take, looking through the camera lens. <laughs> it's all about Matt. Well, Matt's belly right. is saying, mmm. Okay, so I'm going to pour this in this pan, and then we're going to put this pan in the oven with the bacon, and they're going to... Joy loves our accents. I didn't know I had an accent. I may have gotten a pan too big, so we'll see how it turns out in this particular pan. I usually use a, use a smaller pan. I don't know how puffy it'll get this time. Louise from Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia, I almost said Japan, or like Canada. And then Della from Virginia and Yovana from Florida. They're all saying hello. Okay. Chantel says hi. And then we're going to bake this. Uh, were you pretty? T you're having a 400. Tina says just say, just say Tina. Tina. Tina sounds good. Okay. Um, you, you melt that butter at 400, then you pour it in there, and then you put, put everything back into your pan. And let's see, we're going to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes or in until the pancake is puffed in the center and golden brown along the sides. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have to come back. So I'm going to put this in because I don't have 25 minutes worth of talk time for um, to fill. So I'm going to well, we in. probably could fill 25 minutes well, of talk time. All right. So let me get this back in the oven and take a piece of bacon. To bacon in Mary here. Alice who loves watching us both. All right. Bacon's looking good in there, Matt. She's from Ontario, Canada. She was just a country farm girl. Okay. She loves watching us farm. I'm sorry. I, I know I'm overriding you. Put the um, timer. And... It said 20 to 25 minutes, it says. We'll do 21. Do I need to hit something, or is it doing it? It's doing it. Okay. It, you hit the timer, it starts. It don't give you no chance to push no buttons. Well, I guess I can talk to y'all about one little thing before we head out. Well, why not? <coughs> Thunder wants to talk, too. Okay. Okay. He must see a cat. Let me so, go. Um, does he see a cat? He's... <coughs> he sees something. Do you want me to let him out? Yeah, you can let him out. I'm coming, buddy. We're going to talk about water. Matt, would you do me a humongous favor? I'll do you a humongous favor. What do you do a favor for? In the refrigerator there. Okay, in the refrigerator. Would you get out that orange and that lime right there on the door? I washed them last night. And it puts the lime in the coconut and, and then, shakes it all would up. Would you get me, um, do you have one of your cucumbers in here? It puts the lime in the coconut and shakes it all up. Will this cucumber do? Yes, that will do. Well, so, um, one other thing. Would you put me some water? I need some ice cubes in here, please, sir. Please, kind of, sir. I really need a bigger picture than that. But, but what I'm going to say is, um, we all need to drink more water. I try, I'm trying to drink a lot more water. Here we go. Thing of water to um, work with me every day, and I keep one next to the nightstand for both of us. And so, um, but I gotta have something in my water. It's just not, I don't like the flavor of the water. I missed a bunch of hellos, but it's okay. 
Uh, hello, if you missed y'all, we appreciate y'all being here. So, if you've ever, when me and Matt went to on a trip years ago, and um, in the hotel lobby, he's looking at me like, "What's she fishing?" No, I'm talking uh, about. In the hotel I thought you were going lobby, to tell, it was in Charleston, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. They had these two big old uh, water dispenser things, and they had, um, you know, like lemons and limes in one of them, and then they had cucumbers in the other one and I thought wow I never thought of that so every day when we would go into the going heading into the room I would stop and get me a little cup of that fresh spa water I guess is what we can call it and so um I don't know ever since then I kind of put something you know I always put lemon in my tea so I bought I usually try to buy like one orange a week and I'll slice it up and put it um and something in the refrigerator just to keep it, you know. That's a mighty good looking cucumber, I have to say. Can you hand me my green knife there, please, kind of sir? The big one? Yes. So it's just, if you don't like water and you need something in it, and you know, you can always put like your, your little drink mixes of your crystal light or whatever. Matt uses a lot of that, but I don't like that. I just like it a little bit more clean so I just will rinse off my um, oranges and um, I like to squeeze some of it in there I don't know if I can see this Matt because I don't know clearly but, not paying attention <laughs> well I was reading the comment and Jeannie says she um, likes to put mint in her fresh water yeah that would be good too but um it's just something, if you have issues with water, we all need to drink more water. Like our mama always says, mama tells me, you don't drink enough of anything, really. But I do, I think I drink enough of some things. Tea. You drink that liquor to south a lot. I do. I love me some sweet tea. And then all that caffeine in the morning. Yep. I keep getting people asking me to make sweet, my, show how I do my sweet tea again. So I need to do a video again on, on my sweet tea. So what I would do is I would just cut. Well, we know how you make your sweet tea. You just put your tea, you heat it up, and then I stick my finger in it. It makes it sweet. No, that's when it goes rancid. We're going to take a <laughs> vote right now. So I'm saying that my finger is what makes the tea sweet. Anne says it makes it bad. Let's see what everybody else thinks. Joy says she'd never heard of having cucumbers in the water before. I hadn't either. And I guess if you if you ever go to spas, maybe they do that kind of water there but this this hotel had it and I was like oh how neat and it is very refreshing so um yeah I liked it so I'm gonna put a couple of limes in here with my lemon or with my um orange now I'm not gonna put any lemon in it I've got my lemon in there for my tea but it's just and you know you just feel kind of fancy drinking drinking the um but baby, we ain't fancy. No, we're not fancy. fancy. Hey, Rosa. There is nothing yes, fancy. Jewel, I am a prankster. So, what I was just going to say is, you know, I'm not going to put it in here with this one because I've got fruit in there. But if you want to do, we don't, we'll cut up. But what you would do is you would just, I don't even know if I'm going to wash this. Let me wash this cucumber. Lizette says she wants a cucumber, or said mentioned cucumber mar mar martini. Oh, I've never heard of that. And Joy wants to, would love to see your sweet tea recipe. Well, there's nothing fancy about that. It's just got all pissed off. And Lou says it would be finger tea. drinking good with my sweet tea with my finger. Yeah. Um, but I would just cut some little um, rounds of the cucumber. Caroline says you're such a precious daughter to your mother and hope you have a great 4th of July. And Leanne says, of course, Matt's finger would make it sweet. <clears throat> So, um, if we had another picture map, we could do um, some cucumber water. But you would be amazed just putting this in there. It do we, just do we have sit out pictures? on your porch. It's probably in there, but I'd have to wash it. It's in storage. Okay. Um, just adding that little extra something. And it makes you feel, when you're not a fancy person, it kind of makes you feel kind of fancy. I liked it. I, I always, you know, will pop a slice of orange in my water if I have it because it Rita just, says that strawberry is good too. Yeah, you could do and you can even buy the pitchers that have that little diffu is it a diffuser where you can put the fruit down in it 
and put berries and grapes and strawberries and whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, it's really good for you too. So I'm going to put me some water in here. Right. Joy says, I, I seem like a scamp. I'm assuming that's uh, like a jokester or something. So, you gotta keep talking. You can't just stop talking. Well, I was telling it, my food, my water. Peaches, uh, Sharon's mentioned maybe peaches. Yeah, so. anything, any fruit that you like. Um. Matt is on my last nerve, Houston, Texas. That's Elizabeth. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I control the camera, so there. All right, so there is our. Uh, Mary wants to know how long you keep the fruit juice, and just keep adding water. How long do you keep it in there? Or? Um, probably. And you know, you'll kind of watch it. And, and when I take a slice of lemon or a slice of orange in my water at work. It keep, it's in one of those cups that keeps everything cold for like 12 or 24 hours. I'm not sure which. And I'll put it in there. And then the next day, usually two days, I'll get out of, of my lemon. I mean, out of my orange when I'm just transporting back and forth to work. Something like this, you just watch it. And if it looks like it's going a little, uh, you know, just toss it out. Because I've got plenty more slices here. And then I can always switch over to the cucumber if I want to put that in. Mm, this cucumber smells so fresh anyway. And then I got some more lime over here. And then like I say, you could always just put some some um lemon in there. And then you could if you like water, you can just drink it plain. But <laughs> I I mean I I have gone different places and the water tastes different. Where I work, their water is really good. And it seems to stay colder. Their ice is colder than our ice. That's probably because they probably use a, some kind of filter or something. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but their ice is so much colder than our ice. I thought ice was ice. But, um, yeah. So, Matt, would you like a glass of water? Would you like a glass of citrus water? I will take one, yes, ma'am. I'll just give you a glass with a lemon. Got and a lot then, of... You know, when we... You know, I'll come in here and we can just keep refilling the water as it goes down. Put some more ice in it. <laughs> I think um, Elizabeth may have hit a nerve with everybody. Uh, well, maybe that's just, it's just not the page. Matt's my husband and he helps me a lot. And um, well, That whole glass took almost the whole thing of water. Yeah, it's a small pitcher. I got this. I've had it a while. But... Um, you know what happens when it runs out? You feel it back up. I feel it back up. <laughs> it's almost like a lemonade. Yeah. And the, see, the reason I like the orange, I think, is because it's it's sweeter. Um, but, just store, but it's not overbearing. It's kind of a, right. it's a, it's a good well, mixture. Well, you can squeeze a lot more in. I just kind of squeeze it, you know. I'm saying the, the, the two... Mixtures kind of offsets pretty good. Yeah, but anyway, it's just my way of drinking more water. Just add a little something, to it, something, something to it. Okay, so Lizette gonna... loves your glasses. Thank you, with Walmart. The, with the with the. Oh, those glasses. Yeah. Oh, those came from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna puff today, Matt. I might have um burned my butter too much. All right, so we're going to take a break from here. I'm going to get this kind of sorted out. We'll get our bacon out, and we'll see if this pancake puffs or not. So we'll be back shortly.